What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees on the good old uke. As always, with every ukulele tutorial that I upload here on YouTube, I will include a skip to section right here so you can skip to, to the chords or the strumming. You can skip to whatever section in the video that you want. I wouldn't expect you to sit through 10 minutes of a video if you don't want to hear me talk for 10 minutes. But if you do, I would absolutely love you forever. Um, so definitely go and use that skip to section if you want. Also, I do want to mention that we did do a full play along for this song that's basically me singing and strumming the entire song with the chords and lyrics on screen. So it's super easy for you to follow along. So I'll make sure to include that link in the description, also in the top of the comments when that does go live. So make sure to come back to this channel and check out that full play along video. But let's get into the chords that we need for this song. So the chords that we need for this song are A, B minor, D, G flat minor, and last but not least, G. So if you're like Ricky, I already know all those chords. Let's move on to the strumming section of this video. Again, skip to section will be right here, so you can skip to whatever section in the video that you want. But if you're like Ricky, I don't know any of the chords. I just started playing like a week ago, yesterday, today. Please help me. Don't worry, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step on how to play each chord and where to put your fingers for each chord. Then we're gonna go talk about strumming. So if you wanna learn the chords, then just keep on watching. But first, before we dive into chords, let's talk about how we number the strings and the frets. And if you're like, I didn't know we number the strings and the frets, then this section is definitely for you, so listen up. So we're gonna pick up our uke, and the top string is going to be the fourth string. The next one down is gonna be the third. The next one down is gonna be the second string. And the last one at the bottom, you probably guessed it, that's gonna be the first string. So it's gonna be four, three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and look at the fretboard. And as you can see, you have uh, these lines right here. So this is going to be the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and then so on. So make sure to feel comfortable with the numbering of the strings and the frets. And if you do need a little bit more time, make sure to press the pause button right now. Take a look at your uke and be like, all right, I got the strings down, I got the frets down, I got this. We have this memorized, press play, and now let's talk about the chords. So as always, I will include a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke. I feel like it just helps a lot where you can visually see where you put your fingers and also me talk you through it. So let's talk about the first chord and that is the A chord. And how you're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. And it should sound like this. The next chord is the B minor chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna go over all four strings on the second fret and then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, fourth fret and it should sound like this. The next chord that we're going to learn is the D chord and how I like to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to go over the top two strings which is the fourth and third string on the second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place your middle finger on the second string uh, on the second fret and it should sound like this. The next chord is a G flat minor and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the third string, first fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you place your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. Then you take your ring finger and you place your ring finger on the second string, second fret. And it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need for this song is the G chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place it on the first string, second fret. Then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place the ring finger on the second string, third fret. And it should sound like this.
So those are all the chords that you need for this song. Again, if you do need a little bit more time, make sure to press the pause button right now and get really comfortable with the chords and the finger placements for each chords and also transitioning between the chords. So when you go from an A to G, make sure that is clear and crisp. And if you have sort of a muted sound, that's basically just telling you that you're not putting enough pressure on the string. So make sure to add a little bit more pressure so that way it's clear and crisp. All right, so we just talked about the chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming coming up next. All right, so let's talk about how we're gonna play this song. I'm gonna teach you three different ways that you can do it. The first one is a strumming. The second one is more of a finger pick. And the third is just a strum down. So let's talk about the first one, which is a strumming. So how we're gonna do it, we're just gonna start off with the D chord and it's going to be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that one more time with the D chord down in three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do that one more time. In three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So if you add the more of the chords, it's just going to be like, it's gonna sound a little bit like this. So that's pretty much how you're gonna strum the entire song. You're with that down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And you can choose how fast or slow you want to play the song. So again, with the full play along, I did do that strumming pattern in the full play along. Again, check links and description for that full play along. Now let's talk about the second way you can do it, which is the finger pick. So how we're gonna do that, again, we're gonna start off with the D chord and you're gonna alternate picking the uh, third and first string. So it's going to be three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, the entire song. So it's going to go three, one, 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 three, one. So again, just alternating between the third and first string uh, throughout the entire song. And again, you're just going to switch chords while you're finger picking third and first string alternating each of course and the last way we're gonna play this song is just do down strum so if you're like Ricky I just started playing like an hour ago but I love this song you can literally just strum down whenever you see a chord change and again I will leave the entire links and chords in the description so you can copy and paste it for yourself keep it uh, on your laptop computer phone, wherever you store things so you can have it there whenever you want, practice whenever you want, and it's just there at your disposal. So again, whenever you do see a chord change, you just strum down. And then it sounds really good, so you can be like, Hey there Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. So again, strum down, it kind of just strips it down and it sounds really cool. So highly recommend strumming down. So let's talk about three different ways again, which is the strumming, which is the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then we can do the finger pick, which is the third and first string alternating. So it's... And then the last way we're gonna, we can play this song is with the down strum. Those three are definitely great options. So I'm excited for you to learn one, two, or all three versions. They will sound really cool and I'm excited to hear you play them. So if you do actually play these songs, make sure to tag me in my socials so I can reshare, especially on Instagram. We are very active on there. So make sure to tag me if you ever do play this cover. And I'd love to hear your versions. So congratulations, you now know how to play Hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees on the uke. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. And finally, follow me on Instagram. It's just at Ricky Somborn. We've hit over 55,000 Instagram family members. Thank you so much for joining if you have already. 
And if you haven't, make sure to follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, let me know what video you came from, from YouTube, or what your name is, what songs you love. If you have any questions about ukes or whatever, send me a DM, I always love to talk to you there. Also send me, leave or leave me comments in the comment section below. I always love reading and responding to, to those as well. I can't speak. Ending of videos are always super hard for me, I don't know why. But thank you so much for watching. And again, huge thank you to Lava Ukulele for making such a cool uke. This is their blue color and it's so cool. It has these sound effects, if you can see. Uh, has these sound effects. You can control the reverb, chorus, delay, the volume, all that good stuff. So it's basically, you have an amp and control everything on the uke right here. Super cool, highly recommend. If you do wanna check out this uke, they have it in a bunch of other different colors as well, so it's not just blue. It's this really cool finish. Absolutely love it, one of my favorites. I'll leave a link to this in the description below, so you can definitely go check it out. Also check out the Lava Ukulele website. Uh, they have a bunch of cool instruments, so definitely highly recommend to check them out. And it looks really cool. It's definitely something that's not in my collection. Well, now it is because I have it, but super cool. I always get a lot of compliments when I do play it or when friends come over and they're like, what is that? It's the lava, bruh. It's the lava. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it for these 10, 15 minutes and uh, just listening to music, learning new songs, relaxing, having a good time. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.